As a Sunday school teacher, Christian religion teacher, and speaker or organizer for many children and youth retreats, one of my overused activity is asking my students or participants to list down the things they are grateful for. Depending on how many times they've been asked to do this, and possibly how old they are, the answers I receive range from a list of all the expensive things they own, the places they've been to, the people they know, the things they like, and finally, if I push them a bit harder, the things they often take for granted, like oxygen and sunshine. Sometimes, they would remember to include Jesus and salvation in the list. It's overused, but it's still very effective. It's also, undoubtedly, the number one tool in every self-help or search for happiness or productivity book or internet article that's been the latest trend. And it's almost always accompanied with this side note. It sounds so simple, but it works. It works because the truth is, most of the time, we don't practice gratitude that well. Sometimes, we only remember to do it when we are feeling discouraged. It's like a way of reminding us that God is good, even when things seem to be falling apart. And that's a valid reason, and a valid thing to do. But it's important to remember to have an attitude of gratitude at all times, not only because it makes our lives happier, as the books and internet articles claim, but also because it will help us build compassion. In the famous story of Jesus feeding the 5,000 in Matthew 14, verse 19, we read about Jesus, and he directed the people to sit down on the grass, taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke the loaves. Then he gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the people. Verse 20, they all ate and were satisfied, and the disciples picked up twelve basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. Jesus gave thanks before the disciples gave out the bread. Gratitude allows us to have compassion for others. When we are content with what we have, who we are, what we do, when we know that God is good at all times and that God provides for everyone because God is a compassionate God, then we can have compassion towards others. No matter how little we have, we can share it with gratitude. We may only have five loaves of bread and two fishes. It may seem like nothing, but in gratitude, it can feed 5,000 and everyone can be satisfied.